Okay, so I just got ready in like 0.2 seconds. And I'm not even gonna put makeup on because I am gonna go on a walk to my local Goodwill, which is like a 22 minute walk away. So hopefully that won't take too long. You know, we'll see how fast I can walk there. Um, but I also kind of want to check out the library as well because I've never been there before either. Um, it's so weird. I've lived here for a couple of years now and I still haven't gone to the local library. That's just so weird to me. So <laughs> that's the plan for today. I did my hair. Looks pretty good. I'm wearing a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. I'll show you my whole outfit like right now. Okay, can you see my outfit? Are we? There we go. So here's my outfit. I did my hair like I said, got my sunglasses on, and I also have this Guns N' Roses t-shirt from Target. This is what it looks like, and I have my men's jeans on and my Converse. So that is the whole look today. And I also have my tote bag right here, which is gonna be so much fun. Got my little tote bag, so cute. So anyway, I am going to go over to the Goodwill. We're going to check it out. I'm so excited. I am ready to check it out. Um, and yeah, let's just get going. I'm going to see because the library is literally right in the middle of my path to the Goodwill. So either I'm going to go there first and then the Goodwill second, or I'm going to go to the Goodwill first, the library second. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, the Goodwill is 0.8 miles away, so less than a mile, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So I'm finally back from both the library and Goodwill. Sorry my hair looks so crazy. I've been like trying to fix it. It's just, it is what it is. Also, I have my windows open. It's pretty hot right now. And like I said, I just got back and oh my gosh, it was way more of a trek than I expected it to be. So as you saw in some of the other clips, I went to the library, that was so much fun. I'd never been to that library before and I really ended up liking it. It's definitely bigger than I expected it to be and had a much better selection than I expected. <laughs> like there are definitely some books that I was like, I had my eye on, like they had Hamnet, they had a couple of other books that I had had my eye on and I was like, ooh, they actually do have a really good selection here so I might need to check it out again when I'm in the mood to actually like read a library book. I feel like I have so many books that I want to read right now that if I were to go like check a book out right now I would like never read it so that's kind of an issue and I don't want to you know rack up any sort of like library debts or anything that is just not what i'm about right now oh also i have a smoothie i went i didn't actually go to blenders i actually got home and doordash blenders because i was like i feel like i'm gonna die anyway i want to show y'all what i ended up getting from the goodwill and so the first thing i got i'm going to show you is actually the one clothing item that i bought i went through like every rack and they actually did have a pretty good selection of clothes. It's just like, I'm plus size, clearly. It's very, very difficult to find plus size clothes at a thrift store. <laughs> Especially when that thrift store like doesn't section off their clothing in size, they section it off in color. So I genuinely had to go through like every single rack and was like, okay, 
where are the plus size clothes i need to figure this out for the most part it seemed like a lot of like the plus size clothes that they did have were mostly like 16 18 which is a little too small for me um and i didn't really want to like ch you know chance my luck or whatever i don't what do you, what is that saying test my luck whatever i didn't want to test it i didn't want to push it so i was like i'm not even gonna like bother with those smaller clothes i'm gonna try to find something that's like actually my size and then i ended up finding like an actual like avon viv piece for like five bucks um actually it might have been less than five dollars because it was uh 25 percent off so anyway <laughs> i found a pair of pants that i really really like they're so cute they're high-waisted and they're stretchy they're a, like one size a little too big but i'm kind of in between sizes at the moment so um that was kind of like my i'm like oh, okay that's fine but i really like these because they kind of look like another pair of pants that i have but they are longer and they're a lighter green so i think they'll be really cute for summer and they're super lightweight really really thin but not like in like a see-through flimsy kind of way they're just like very lightweight and i was so excited to find something like you know target that i could uh that i like knew i could trust the sizing of it and um they're really cute they're like folded up at the bottom they're so cute i love these pants so they'll be super comfy all right so now i'm gonna go into the books that i bought and i think i got one two three four five six books i'll insert the pictures of like what they had on like yelp as the pictures for this goodwill and they were absolutely incredible pictures so i was like it's gonna be worth it to go i'm just gonna do it i will just suffer through the walk um and it totally was worth it because i found so many good picks some books that i had never heard of some books i've been wanting for a while and i'm just i'm so excited to show you all so we're gonna start off with just like reaching into the bag so the first book that i have here is romancing miss bronte and this is by juliette guile gale and i had never heard this book before never heard of it but it looked really interesting and i was like ooh, um this might be a fun book to read a little bit of like a historical sort of like romance kind of book um i love those kind of books they're so much fun and it just looks interesting i've also never read anything by any of the bronte sisters so um, maybe i should do that first but i was really intrigued by this book and definitely wanted to check it out the next one is one that i had seen a couple of times and i think i'm i don't even know if i have um an advanced like audiobook for maybe it's a different book that i'm thinking of but i ended up reading the inside jacket for this and i was like oh my gosh this has to do with like a young widower and also a baseball player and i love baseball if you didn't know that about me then you don't follow me on twitter i love baseball my favorite team is the angels and i just love it i follow it and this is evie drake starts over by linda holmes i haven't heard anything about this book it's very very short so i feel like it won't be like a super dedicated read i could probably finish this in a day but it just sounds so so good and like i said it's about this main character named evie drake she has just become a widower so evie is the one that's actually in maine and then dean tenney or teeny i'm guessing tenney He's a major league pitcher and or a former major league pitcher and he ends up moving to Maine after he gets an invitation from his childhood friend Andy who is also best friends with Evie so that'll be super interesting. Sorry if that didn't make any sense. I'm like trying to piece it together from what I read of the synopsis but it sounds really good. It has baseball. I am all for it. Also I should probably explain the pricing for these. I'm pretty sure that hardcovers are $2.99 and then paperbacks are $0.99. Cents. So the next book that I got was Tuck Everlasting by uh, Natalie Babbitt and <laughs> um, what was it last year or two years ago like probably a year and a half ago I kind of got into the Tuck Everlasting Broadway musical. It's so cute. It's so good. I love the songs 
and I had never read Tuck Everlasting. I've never seen the movie. I feel like I've like I feel like everybody else has seen it in the entire world and I'm the last person to. So I was like, you know what? I want to read the book first. I want to see what it's all about. And this book is in such good condition. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Like literally just a gorgeous copy. And I didn't want to pay like ten dollars to get it from like Barnes and Noble or Amazon or whatever. So I was super, super excited to finally find it at a Goodwill used and oh, I'm so excited. I really, really want to read this. It's less than 100 pages, I'm pretty sure. Or it's like just like a little over 100 pages. So it's going to be a super quick read. I'm so excited for this book. I'm ready to read it. I want to know what the hype is about. The next book that I got should come as no surprise and it is Shakespeare's Macbeth. And I've never read Macbeth. I've never seen Macbeth. And I am so excited to finally own a copy of it because I feel like I own so many Shakespeare plays. And it's so weird that I don't have this one. That just seems like, you know, a huge hole in my collection. So I'm super excited. This is a Signet classic. Um, I typically like the Folgers, but Signet is fine too. It's not, you know, a huge deal. So super excited that I found Macbeth. And then the next book that I got is also paperback, and this is Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. I have never read this book before. It, oh, also it seems like somebody annotated it a little bit. But um, I've never read this book before, and I feel like this is like one that is a must read. But I know that this is just like a huge classic, and I'm so excited to read it. And then the last book I got was actually the first one that I picked up, and this is Friends and Strangers by J. Courtney Sullivan. And I am really, really excited to read this. I was so, so pumped that I was able to find this book. And I had remembered hearing a little bit about it before, but I can't remember what it's about. So it's about this woman named Elizabeth, and she's a new mother. And she ends up hiring another lady to be the babysitter. And they end up forming a really uh, close friendship. So I'm super excited to read this book. It sounds interesting. It sounds like something I might really enjoy. And I was just really glad that they had it at the Goodwill. I think that this Goodwill definitely had like a really good selection of books. Like as you can see, it's just a very, it's just a very eclectic selection of books. So I was super excited to find all of these. And you know, like I said, a lot of them were books that I had been, you know, having my eye on for a while. So it was nice to find them secondhand. All right, so this was such a fun video to make. It was totally like last minute, just, you know, wasn't planning it or anything, but I'm so excited that I did it. I'm so excited that I actually went to this Goodwill and checked it out. I'll definitely have to go back uh, maybe in a couple of weeks just to kind of see if they have anything new and I probably will not be walking there I'll probably try to get somebody to drive me there <laughs> Because that walk I don't want to do it again. I wouldn't mind walking to the library That's not a super far walk, but walking all the way to the Goodwill. Oh my gosh, it's it's tough. It's it's a big one. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, Storygraph. All the links are down below in my bio. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!